With dozens of new resin 3D printers available, resin printing has become more accessible than ever. As interest in resin printing has grown, so too have the material offerings, from vibrant color opportunities with epoxy-free mh build resin to flexible finish prints from Licreate. Knowing the best practices when switching from one resin to another between prints is an essential part of the process, so the pros of Matter Hackers have gathered our best advice to help you succeed. Let's get started. Here are the supplies you'll need. Workspace surface protection, like a silicone mat or a tarp, nitrile gloves, safety goggles, isopropyl alcohol, paper towels, rubber squeegee, UV lamp or a spot in the sun, strainer, silicone funnel, empty bottle for resin or its original container. Most of these items can be found in the Matter Hackers Premium Resin Toolkit, which makes sourcing all these necessary tools quick and easy. Step one, don the protective equipment and prepare your workstation. Step two, Remove the build plate from its mount while keeping it above the vat to catch any drips. Step three, use the rubber squeegee to remove as much resin as possible from the build plate into the vat. Step four, once the build plate is mostly free of resin, set it on your protected surface and prepare a paper towel with isopropyl alcohol. Step five, with a dry paper towel, wipe resin off of every surface of the build plate from the printing surface to the clamping knob. Repeat as necessary. Step six, with the prepared isopropyl alcohol paper towel, Wipe off the build plate again to remove any residue. Step seven, set aside the used paper towels. We will discard these later. Step eight, carefully remove the vat from the resin printer. If possible, keep room lights low to prevent any curing of the resin. Set on the protected surface. Step nine, set your storage container on your protected surface and place the funnel and strainer into the opening. Step 10, begin slowly pouring resin into the container using the pour spout in the vat. You may need to burp the funnel to allow air into the container and keep the funnel flowing. Step 11. Once the vat is mostly empty, use the rubber squeegee to move the rest of the resin to the side with the pour spout. Alternate between squeegeeing and pouring until most of the resin is in the container. Step 12. Put the lid on the container and put it into storage. Step 13. When the vat is mostly empty, clean the squeegee with a dry paper towel, then an isopropyl alcohol paper towel. Set aside the squeegee as you will not need it again. Step 14, clean the inside of the vat using dry paper towels, then an isopropyl alcohol moistened paper towel. Step 15, for cleanliness sake, clean the outside of the vat and the inside of the resin printer itself in the same way. Step 16, once everything has been wiped down and the alcohol has had time to evaporate, reinstall the build plate and the vat back in the printer. Step 17, shake up your new resin pouch or bottle. You need any pigments or dyes to thoroughly mix in before printing, and it's much easier to shake than it is to stir in the shallow vat. Step 18, carefully pour resin in up to the max fill line. If you have upgraded your build plate in some way that increased its overall thickness, be sure to leave enough room to account for that and not have it spill over. Step 19, for final cleanup, take all the used paper towels and lay them out flat on your workstation. Hold the UV lamp over them for a minute or mount the lamp and let the paper towels cure while you put other things away. If you don't have a UV lamp, set the paper towels outside in the sun and secure them. Let the paper towels fully cure until the absorbed resin is hard and does not release any residue when touched. You can now throw it away with regular trash. Put the printer's lid back on and you're all set to start your next print. And that's all there is to it. It's a bit of a messy process, but an essential one to learn how to do properly, as you will need to regularly clear out your vat and clean off your build plate. Doing so will help remove any small particulate from failed prints or give you an opportunity to renew the surface of the build plate if you're finding diminished bed adhesion or if you're interested in experimenting with the variety of colors you can find with epoxy-free MH Build resin, having an array of storage bottles on hand can help make changing through them all an easy task. Best of luck with your resin printing. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Hey there, thanks for watching our video on how to change your printer's resin. If there's any helpful advice I could offer, it would be to overestimate how much space you're gonna need to do this because you don't wanna drip any resin on anything important like your computer or your desk. If you want to read some in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.